Good morning, everyone, and a good morning it is. So, I vlogged a little bit the last couple of days, but I'm gonna start anew now, and I'll just give you a rundown of what happened because I'm in a much different headspace today. So, long story short, um, which you would have kind of seen in my last. Actually, maybe I took it all out of my van building video. But anyways, long story short, as you all may or may not know, um, essentially I found out a few months ago that I was having a severe vitamin D deficiency. And I've talked about it nonstop because it was so incredibly low that I was having like really bad side effects from it. So like extreme fatigue and depression being the two, which I think were interconnected. Um, also, I believe I'm experiencing some undiagnosed PMDD. And so I have twice now given up caffeine and both times it has immediately um, eliminated my PMDD anxiety and depression. And I keep drinking coffee again because my extreme fatigue makes me need a pick me up and so I'm in a vicious cycle of if I'm trying to handle my PMDD and not be depressed and anxious and crippled by you know um, my mind into not being able to do things or whatever and and I am when I'm talking about PMDD it is like a very extreme mood shift um, very extreme I'm very mean to the people around me I am very mean to myself I it's it's absolutely terrible um, and this month I had it really really bad my energy levels were also really really bad um, so anyways I feel like I'm in this very frustrating cycle of you know I feel like I need caffeine to live I also just really enjoy it um, but if I have it then I'm depressed and I just realized I can't get to where I'm trying to go from here. And that's frustrating, but hmm. Oh shit. Uh, where do I go? <laughs> Road construction. So basically, um, I was really, really suffering before I got my period. Really, really bad to the point, I mean, I just was like crying to my mom because I was so frustrated for feeling so poorly also I couldn't stop crying I was crying all the time for no reason other than my mood I just I don't know if you don't have it it's hard to describe but those of you who experience anything like PMDD I mean it's it's wild it's crazy and it's not something I have experienced this aggressively except for the last few years so, with that being said, I tried and tried and tried to vlog, um, and I was having a really hard time. I was having a hard time with my van build, and yesterday, I woke up and finally got my actual period, and it's like, it's weird when my actual period starts, the PMDD symptoms are over, almost like, I mean, literally overnight. That's like how it happens. And... So I woke up yesterday, got my period, and I was like, okay, let's see, and sure enough, I'm a new person. I was a new person, and I feel like a new person even more so today, um, emotionally. Physically, I'm still not feeling too hot with like cramps and bloating and all that. So, um, yeah, I'm real bloated today, I'm real puffy, and not that anybody cares, but sometimes people do comment on my body, and you shouldn't. I'm not condoning it, but I'm just saying, before you feel the need to comment, <laughs> I'm going through it, okay? Um, anyways, so I needed to do some work, and I needed to do some content creation, and stuff like that, and I needed to do um, spicy content creation, and I booked a hotel in order to do that. And I booked it when I was feeling okay. And um, I still got my work done, but it's, I regretted booking the hotel because it, that's not easy content to create when you don't feel good. And you don't feel good about yourself or your body or like whatever. 
it all turned out to be okay because I did wake up yesterday and felt good. So, yeah. So, anyways, I went to Stillwater. Um, that's where I got the hotel. I had my mom meet me there the next morning. And we hung out all day. We went antiquing. We ate some really good food. And, yeah, if you've never been to Stillwater, it's like a historic town in Minnesota. It's very cute. It's on the St. Croix River. They do like river cruises. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those really cute towns that looks like it's straight out of Gilmore Girls or The Good Witch, if you're familiar with that show. If you haven't watched that show, it's another cute one. Um, it's Hallmark, so just, you know, you know what you're going to get there. But, um, but yeah, it's a really cute town. So we love going there. We, and today I am finally getting back to van building. So like I said, emotionally, I'm in a totally different place in a very good place today. But physically, I'm still not feeling real great. Um, it just sucks because it's like if I didn't have, you know, a cycle and these problems, I'd get a lot more done in life. <laughs> so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to work today because... Um, my cramps are already setting in pretty aggressively and lately when I've been taking Midol, it just, I don't feel good. Um, I don't like the way it makes me feel. I might grab some Advil while I'm at Walmart. If I I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> Maybe I'm not as well as I thought I was because I drove, okay, there was so much construction that I tried to go to Walmart in a different town. And it was right by Home Depot, so I was going to kill two birds with one stone. And because of the road construction, I couldn't get over there. So I went to a different town. And I drove all the way here and realized, I can't go to Home Depot in my car. I can't haul stuff in my car. I can't buy a big thing of wood. <laughs> it's not going to fit in my tiny little Ford Fiesta. Even the styrofoam insulation wouldn't fit in here. It's so small. What was I thinking? I need to take my van. Um, which I have not started or driven in a long time. So I'm like, I've been procrastinating, but I guess today's got to be the day. So now I'm like, I drove all the way out here. I'm going to have to drive all the way there and then all the way back out here. I opened the doors so slowly today and I don't think there's any wasps nest today. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, the fake wasps nests were supposed to be delivered already. And I don't remember seeing them and I don't know where they are. But as you can see, the van is not really um, drivable at the moment. Also, I have so much thin Thinsulate left over. If anybody in the Minnesota area needs thin Thinsulate, um, email me and you can have it. <laughs> I don't know what else to do with it. I don't really want to list it on Facebook Market. So, yeah. Let me know. I'm going to be honest. It is so hot today that I, I'm having a hard time even just being outside. Um, let me see what the temperature is. It's probably not even that hot. It's only 83. Humidity 54%. I honestly don't know if that's a lot. But I don't like the heat. I'm not a summer girly. I'm a fall, spring girly. Um, so I'm not loving this, but oh, it's so hot. And I'm gonna tint the window. I'm at least gonna do that. I'm gonna see if I have any leftover foam insulation, otherwise I gotta buy another one. But yeah, as soon as I'm done with that, we can head on to Home Depot, and then I gotta clean some of this stuff up. Yep.
right, I'm instantly overwhelmed. Um, let's go to the back. So the pieces are huge, huge. So I can't even really hold it up to see. Oh God, the freaking wasp. Ah, there's one wasp that won't leave me alone. I think it's the same one. Really wants to make a home in my van. Gotta get windshield wiper fluid for my car. Um, so, as you can see, it's so tall. <sighs> so I really need to saw it, like measure. God. I really gotta actually start building shit now. And I'm just not in the mood. The problem is, well, here's the thing. When I was doing nothing but building over COVID, I came here every single day because I didn't care about anything. I was going through um, a really big breakup. If you don't know, if you've been following me for a while, this is redundant um, and I'm sorry, but um, when I first built the van, I went through a really big breakup. Freaking wasp, get out of there. Um, I want to get stung and it's trying to trap me in here it wants it seriously they just want to make a home in my van so badly um okay so anyways biggest breakup of my life um really hard and i was really depressed and we were going through covid it was like at the very start of 2020 so it was just a hard time for everybody add on the breakup to it. Um, and then we were also getting unemployment and all that stuff. So I was kind of in a position where I knew how much money I was gonna consistently have every week. I had a little bit of money saved and um, it was just different. And so I was in a place where I needed something to focus on 24 seven. Cause if I didn't, um, I was gonna, lose my mind and I was not okay so every day in order to not think about how depressed I was or about how I felt so terrible about myself because of my breakup um, I was building the van every single day so I would come here I didn't care about working out I didn't care I didn't have to go to work um, I didn't care about what I was eating, I didn't care about anything. I also wasn't doing social media at the time in any way. I was just a flight attendant and that was it. Like, I was building on Instagram, but I wasn't even really putting effort into that content, not that I do now either, but, um, but yeah, it was just like such a different time. And um, I cried a lot, I had a really hard time, but every day I would wake up and I would come here I would make breakfast, have coffee. I would come here at like eight o'clock in the morning and I would set up shop. I would put up my tent to build under and my tables with my saw and everything every single morning at like 8 a.m. And I would come and I would build like I was working a nine to five. And it still took me like three months to build the van. Um, and I was hoping to do similar, sorry that was just, is really pissing me off but yeah I was hoping to be able to build in a similar fashion but I'm realizing now I'm having a harder time because I do care about working out I do care about what I'm eating um, I'm still kind of depressed if I'm honest but in a different way um, it's chemical now um, it's not because of anything specific. It's literally what I'm dealing with and my health. Um, and then, you know, as far as money, I have to work in order to make money in order to pay for the van build. And so I am having to take time off. And yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I'm just finding I'm having a hard time, like not just focusing on one single thing. And yeah, again, to reiterate that, I'm not proud of that and I don't really know how to get around it, but yeah so anyways that's just what like is going through my mind so like right now it's 3 p.m and i'm hungry so i need to eat because if i'm gonna 
saw this and all of that I'm probably gonna be here for a really long time which means it's fine if I set up all my shit in order to build but then I need to go eat now the problem is if I go eat now the chances I'm gonna have the motivation to come back here and continue building is really low because my energy levels are just so low these days too like I'm already beat I'm tired the Sun um, gets me and then I was just so crabby because I just had to drive around so much looking for um, <laughs> like all the closed down roads trying to get somewhere which now that I know that those roads are closed I will always go to Menards or I can go to Home Depot in the next town over it's just I need to know these things ahead so I'm just I'm a little beat today but I don't know what my schedule is gonna be tomorrow so I'm not even sure like <sighs> how much building and then I have Monday and that's basically it this week so you know I'm just I'm such a procrastinator that yeah anyways that's where I'm at mentally the thing is is I have to keep reminding myself I'm not on a time frame if this takes me a year to finish which would be so embarrassing but you know what if it takes me a year that's fine I don't like need it right now I just want it right now so that's that's my motivation is like oh I just really want to finish it because I want to use it I have stuff like I would love to I would love to drive it down to Dallas and be with Jaylena in Dallas right now and I would be able to do that if I had it and still work and still go to work um, all my jobs <laughs> so that's why I'm like I really um, I really do wish I had it. Part of me wishes I didn't do all this just so I had something. But also, you know, it is what it is. If I still had it, I would be complaining about everything I wanted to fix. So, anyways, that's just a deep dive into my mind and where I'm at with the van build. Um Good morning. Today is a different day. So yesterday we did a little bridal practice session on my cousin and I think it went well we'll see we'll see if she um liked it she's so pretty it's should be illegal um but anyways that's what we did yesterday it was so fun um also I got this in the mail yesterday I ordered it um it's an Akatar themed tumbler I ordered it before I decided I hate tumblers because they're not spell proof <laughs> Okay, so new location, back in the car. Um, so I forgot where I left off, but basically today is a building day and today is the first like hefty day. It's supposed to be 90 degrees here in Minnesota and it's humid. And listen, I am a northern girl. I'm like, my 23 and me said I'm basically like 80% English Irish descent and I grew up born and raised in Minnesota I don't like heat I don't I do not like heat I'd much rather take cold weather than hot weather any day we'll see how long I last with my hair down also I'm probably gonna have to put my hair up anyways because I'm gonna be doing some sawing today um and I'm so nervous. I'm genuinely so nervous. I'm trying to decide what I want to do for food right now because I'm hungry. Now it's 1040. And if I eat lunch-ish now. Oh, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Oh. This is the first time I think ever that I'm like, oh, I forgot to eat. Is this what it's like to be one of those girlies? Um, shoot, yeah, what do I want to do for food? With a broken heart, and nobody even knows. All right, let's get to it. I'm 
miss you too many nights I miss your colorful lights I think I love you too much I miss your blueberry eyes I'm already over the cleanup and I haven't even done anything today. All right, 54 at the bottom. Ugh, get out of here, buggy. Ugh. 54 at the bottom. Uh, 51 and a half at the top-ish. The top is curved, so that's where I'm gonna run into problems. Yeah, 51 and a half. What did I say down here, 54? Okay, I'm gonna go draw that on. I still have this guy, which is my guide to sawing a straight line. I'm still nervous, still not sure what I'm doing. I'm gonna get the other saw horses because I actually think um, I can use all four of them. Oh. Mistake number one, I didn't factor in. Cause I I wanna say the circular sum might not have this problem or I'm just an idiot, I forgot. I didn't factor in like what, <laughs> you know, like when this is up against it, the inch difference. And I honestly don't know. I don't really remember how to use this, and so now I need to like figure out. And why is it at an angle? There's no blade in it at the moment. Um, I honestly don't know. What does this button mean? Four, three. gonna take me a lot longer. I have to watch a whole ass YouTube video on how to use this thing. I honestly can't remember. I'm gonna use this over a little bit too much. Let's give it a go. Okay. Not very scary. Okay, the other side looks smooth, and I'm gonna wallpaper over it anyways, I guess, but 
I forgot there's a laser. All right, I gotta keep it. I don't know if that's an issue with the blade or not, that it's making such a rough cut. Okay. First actual cut of the van build. That's kind of fun, even if it doesn't turn out right. <laughs> but we don't know yet. And then I guess I just gotta cut it this way. I gotta figure out, except I'm doing 31 inches all the way across, so should be okay. All right, so I'm gonna be honest, that didn't go well. I made mistakes. Um, I think now I know my mistake, but we did ultimately, oh God. I did ultimately get the piece cut. The top is not a clean, not really a clean cut, but we're gonna go hold it up and see because I'm not sure this was gonna work anyways, <laughs> even if it was a perfectly straight cut. So, I'm just dying, it is so hot. I guess let's go see. The other thing I didn't factor in was curvature. Because I forgot. <laughs> Every day I sit off. All right, well, way too long. I don't know how I thought I was gonna get it down there. So much shit in my way. Okay. So. Okay, I can't even get this. Okay. That's where I wanted it in that corner. Okay. I thought it was gonna go down a little more, but there's wires over here, like actual van. Oh no. Actual, like my tail light wires. I think I'm gonna have to cut a space for them to come out of that. I know what we're looking at. I can attach it right here. I can feel that. I could attach this right up here, but I want it to be even in more. So I can attach it right here. Who could ever leave me, darling? Who could stay? Okay. Ooh, hot. <sighs> I 
Um, I'm afraid to attach it because in order to go with the curve of the wall it has to really really be pushed in so I feel like it's gonna need a lot to hold it in and I'm afraid it's still needing a little more wood on the side than I gave it it's certainly gonna need more than just four screws I really don't want to have to do any furring. But I might have to. I don't know. And I still am unsure if I can drill into that black part. Also, I don't know if I want to, to mar the wall in that way. Even if I do wallpaper over it. So, I don't know, and I'm like, I'm so hot. I'm already like kind of over it today, which it's only 2.30 or 2.40. So I'm thinking I might maybe give, give cutting a piece for the other wall a shot. Um, but I don't know, I'm looking at the corners and I just was really hoping for a more like perfect fit. And that's just not the reality because the metal lining is just not, I'm getting just eaten alive by bugs. I'm sweating nonstop. I probably should at least try to cut the pieces out for the doors. Cause those I can attach like right away if I wanted to. <sighs> I don't know what I want with my life. <sighs> I was preparing to cut this wood and I got super, super nauseous all of a sudden. And I went inside to cool down and I, because I'm on my period, I, every time I get nauseous, I'm afraid it's toxic shock syndrome. It's my first thought. Um, but I was like, maybe it's the heat. I don't know. I went in, I cooled down, I started feeling better. So I'm like, okay, let me just come out and do this one cut and then be done. And I'm out here and I'm already feeling nauseous again. So I definitely think it's the heat. My jeans that I'm wearing, are completely soaked um, that's how hot I've been all day so ugh, I really just wanted to cut this one piece but I'm like not feeling well at all but I'm like if I can just get this one piece cut then I I'm not even gonna try to size it um, the problem is <sighs> the problem I'm having now is this is what I've been using to make sure I'm cutting straight and it doesn't reach all the way. <sighs> and I'm just not a very skilled carpenter, especially right now because it's just been so long. So I'm just kind of like, what, what do I do? And because I'm just like, really not feeling well I'm like maybe I should just be done it's just storing this really big piece <sighs> is a pain so that's kind of why I wanted to cut it down but I don't want to waste it
but I feel really ill and I still have to clean everything up. So I think I'm just going to be done, which really sucks. I thought I was going to get a lot more done tonight. I wanted to, but like, I feel really sick. Hello, editing Samantha here. <laughs> I am currently in New York, got a hotel to do some content today. So I am just in bed editing. Um, and I just wanted to close out this video because it ends on such like a stark note. Um, and it was actually like a really um, big thing. So I was feeling a little nauseous, which I'm still not sure why. I think it was the heat. And which is kind of why in this video I left in all the times I mentioned the heat because um, it was really, really affecting me. And um, I went home. I quickly, right where this video ended, I went home and my mom made dinner because it was a Sunday. So we had our family dinner and she made me this like homemade pasta. And I ate it and I felt like okay to eat, but I just had, I just like wasn't feeling good. And then I went to bed right away because I just didn't feel good. And I would say around 10 p.m. I was the sickest I've ever been in my entire life. I had the chills. I had a fever, body aches. I mean, like, I was so nauseous. I, I honestly have never been that sick before. And I should have woken my mom up because I was so sick that I was so out of it. I couldn't find anything to take as a fever reducer. And so I kept trying to go to sleep and hoping I would wake up and feel better, but I couldn't even sleep because I was so ill. I kept waking up. And so eventually at like seven in the morning, I woke my mom up crying, like, help me. <laughs> and she did. And she nursed me back to health the next day. So I'm not sure if it was heat exhaustion or what. It's been a couple of weeks now. Um, I filmed this like mid-July and it's now july 30th so um anyways i just wanted to close it out because i didn't vlog any of me being so sick and i haven't really vlogged since and i was just so ill so i have not even worked on the van since but hopefully i'll get some time this month to get back and work on it but anyways i'm always looking forward to hearing your guys's advice and thoughts on the van build I'm really, really unsure about the walls still after this experience. I, I I don't know what to do and I'm really struggling to find other YouTube videos or Instagrams where they're showing how people are doing the walls. And I just, I don't really know. I'm afraid, what I'm most afraid of is that I'm redoing this van and it's gonna look worse than when it started. The thing is my van looked good before but it wasn't, it wasn't right. Um, and I need to get the walls done so I can just start on everything else. So we'll see. I'm planning a big trip to Switzerland with one of my really good flight attendant friends um, in September. So I really would like to get a lot done in August if I can get the time off of work work to actually do that. Um, so anyways, if you guys have any advice um, or if you are watching anybody who's done similar things with their van if they have a similar van i would love your input so remember i'm not a professional contractor or carpenter or anything i'm just doing this mostly for fun and because i want to and i want to learn so you know just understand that when you're watching these videos these are not how-to videos these are just watch me try to figure out how to live my life Anyways, I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!